have some local friends live here in Kathmandu that are going to take us out and be our tour guides today and show us some of the areas that we haven't checked out and we are so so excited. Yeah, <laughs> So we are actually exploring the Boda area today and the Boda Stupta is right behind us here and it is absolutely huge. It is so, so beautiful as well. So we're gonna walk around here and just check out all the different stalls that are around because there's so many different arts and crafts and they're all so beautiful. We've seen so many different bowls and art pieces and we could just spend all day looking at all these different stalls. It's so, so beautiful. Singing wall. Sing, singing bowl. Yeah, so oh. singing bowl. Oh. Usually we call it singing bowl. Oh, okay. Meditation bowl, yoga bowl. Oh, I like this. It's cute. So it's like vibrating. And yeah, the yeah, vibration yeah. makes the noise. Yeah, yeah. Vibration. Yeah. The Buddha is statue. This hand. I feel like I'm very bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> so not only are we with some locals from Kathmandu here today, we're with a familiar face here. Hey guys, how's it going? You might recognize this man, this is Jack Tor. We met up with him back in Malaysia, maybe eight or nine months ago. Yeah, a it's long time. been a while, but it doesn't feel like long. It doesn't, no, it doesn't no. at all, yeah. If you don't know who he is or you've never seen his YouTube channel, make sure you go check it out as well. It is so, so good. He has some amazing videos. We'll make sure to link it up here. Go check him out, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, we just can't wait to see you watching Sword for today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we're gonna have a ball. We're going to some uh, temples, eating some local food, Looking and just seeing all different things. So yeah, it should be fun. So as we're walking around the Stupta here, it's in like the middle of a big courtyard and around the outside there are so many different like amazing buildings. The architecture here is outstanding. There's this massive big building behind me and it nearly looks like a theatre. I'm not sure what it is but we're going to go for a closer look and find out. Okay, so I've just seen a sign here saying no photos or videos so I think we're going to have to put the camera away for now so pick us up in a minute. We've just made our way outside of the room that we weren't allowed to take any photography in and it was so so interesting there were different monks in there saying different prayers and singing and we walked around the outside and there was loads of different statues everyone was walking around and like touching the statues and praying it was very very unique and very special to get to experience that and now we've come up to the rooftop and there's loads of different candles up here people can come up here and light a candle whether that's for someone that has passed away or whether it's for themselves for inner peace but something that we learned is actually that you can you have to light a candle in odd, in odd numbers so whether it's one three five I'm not too sure why this is but it's very interesting just after learning that all the different colors on the prayer flags actually represent a different animal so each year there's a different animal that represents that year and it's, we're learning so so much today and this culture just has so many interesting things to learn about and as we're going around we're learning that everyone's like going around the outside of the stupa here and if you go around like seven times is normally like the right amount but every time you go around you're cleansing your sins and everything it's just so so interesting so I'm intrigued to see what else we're gonna learn today so I know I've said it a couple of times since we've been here in Nepal and I'm probably going to say it every day that I'm out exploring but it's just so colourful here. Honestly, it's just next level. There's just sensory going on everywhere. So many amazing smells, noises, the colours are just so vibrant and all the prayer flags that are everywhere are just absolutely beautiful and honestly this has just been probably one of our favourite countries to come and explore and this area is just amazing. There's also planes going all the time. You can hear that probably right behind us. So many planes planes going and just constantly flying in the air which is wicked to look up as well and we're actually going to be flying pretty soon in a couple of days to go do a bit of exploring in the past so but I can't wait for that one as well. So this is called kyabzi, it's a local dish here, a local snack here in this area specifically. It's really tasty however it's a wee bit dry now. I feel like it could do with like a wee bit yeah, of sugar. Like yeah, or like something a sugar with it. But yeah, I still like that. Oh, very nice. That's a winner. <laughs> so we are just moving away from the stuff to down some of the wee narrow streets here. And I think we might be going for some food next, some Nepali food. And we're so excited to try some new dishes. So far, we have been loving the food here in Nepal. It's been so, so tasty and so many good flavors. 
So I think we're getting some tea now, of some tea we've never tried before, so this should be really interesting. I'm excited to try it. Okay, so we have just got our teas down. It's called Suchia, and it's made with butter and salt. Is that correct? Yeah. Butter and salt. Salt and milk. Wow. Okay. So this is gonna be interesting. Never, I've never had salty kind of tea or hot drink before. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, it is salty. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like um, warm and hearty, but also very salty too. But not overly salty where you don't like it. It's, it's quite good. It's quite good. Mm. Very good. <laughs> so this is a Tibetan drink, and I don't know if I'm like fully sold on it. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I'm gonna keep drinking it. Maybe it's one of those ones you have to drink a wee bit to like love it. <laughs> right, I would imagine it's pretty unhealthy with me. With butter, <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely an acquired taste. We'll say that much. Okay, okay. So we have got some Al Shop here, which is a local kind of snack as well. I'm very excited to try this one because I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It's like potatoes sliced down and fried off. It looks really good. Something that should be very familiar to us, being Irish, especially with all the potato. And then we've got plenty of chili sauce here as well. And I love a bit of chili. So just a wee bit, you think, will? Yeah. Just a wee bit. But I like chili. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bottoms up. Okay. Much <laughs> <laughs> <Are> spicy. Much <laughs> spicy. No water. No, 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 good. Okay. I'm the last one, Okay. That is spicy, the chili. And yeah, that's potato. It's just like um, like chips. Like chips or French fries. They are. Ri Pardon me, the chili. <laughs> Pardon me, but yeah, they are really, really good. I like them. Mm. So before you eat, eat this, you have to laugh. You have to laugh. Right? Uh, what? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so our next dish has just come down, and it's called laffy. It's like a pasta dish wrapped around, and like it's got a filling in the middle. I think it's soya bean and like crispy noodles. I'm gonna add some chili just because chili, has, chili has to go with everything. Chili with everything. Chili with everything. It's gotta be an all-in-one kind of mouthful. Go on. This, this, this part, the inside part is yeah. gluten, gluten, gluten. It looks chewy. It's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> mm. right. It's nice though. It's like a thick okay. pasta. Okay. But the soybean in the middle is like quite like chewy, but like nearly meat-like. Okay, okay. Yeah, I really like that one. And then the kick of the chili okay. as well. Mm. It's a warm, it's a cold dish, but the chili makes it warm. And this is a uh, Tibetan? Yeah. Yeah, Tibetan also. Oh, okay. I really like that one. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna have a second. Is that okay? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really enjoy that. That's really, really good. This is honestly amazing. These guys have taken us out for the day. It has been so, so good. We're gonna try so many foods, learning so much about them as well. And it's just been a blast. We have a feast coming down to us. This is a dumpling with buffalo, and then this is a pastry with buffalo. And what is the name of this? Some type of curry. Savali. I will try to remember. Okay, we're going again. We've got the same laffy dish, but this time it's got like a bit of a soup. So it's soy sauce and chili, and it looks like a little bit of bread in it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slimy. It's slimy. <laughs> It's like not as chewy this time around, it's like, oh. it's quite slimy, but I actually quite like it. <laughs> so I do think I enjoy the laughing as like a dry dish more so than in this kind of soy sauce soup. It means like more of like a meal whenever it's in the soup here, whereas like when it's dry, it's more of like just like a snack you can kind of have on the go. But this is still really good and there's an absolute feast has just come down to us here as well. We did not expect this at all, it is absolutely just amazing, we're having a blast. There's big momos coming down, there's also something else that I'm unsure what it is. Looks like a pastry is really good, so we're going to get stuck into them now as well. And do you just lift the niche? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. And there's buffalo meat inside this one. Ooh. So this is the pastry looking thing we are explaining, it's called sapali. It's got buffalo meat inside it and it has come with this lovely looking kind of dal sauce. I'm not too sure what it is. I'm assuming you like dip it into the sauce. This is all a completely new experience for us. 
And I think this is all Tibetan food as well, so a whole new kind of range of food that we've never had before. The restaurant that we've come to is a Tibetan restaurant, so... Oh, well... It looks good. <laughs> You're gonna laugh, but it's kind of like a... Like a beef pasta nearly. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really good. It's really juicy. The meat's lovely inside it. I'm gonna give it a go too. Oh, that is actually great. That's like something we would get at home nearly. Yeah, they're really good. Mm. Mm, they're really good. Yeah, that is, that's a very homely dish. Yeah, I think yeah. if anything we've learned here is that a lot of the Tibetan food seems to be very similar to food we would get at home, but in a different kind of style, With in their own unique way. With different kind of flavors and stuff, yeah. but like the style of it. Similar kind of style, is. yeah, the potatoes, the pastries, the kind of pasty oh, kind of taste. Yeah, a lot of similarities. And we're loving it. Yeah, and we are loving it. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, the food just keeps coming, I can't believe this, but with us, we are massive foodies, so this is just, we're in our element, to be honest. And this one is a Momo, which is like a really famous popular dish here in But a giant Momo. But a giant Momo, and they are literally bloody giant. giant. <laughs> so yeah, and what's the meat inside the Momo? Buffalo. Buffalo yeah. also, buffalo also. I feel like I need to like fully cut it in half, it's so big. Look at the spelling of that. Check that out. Wow, it kind of looks like a bell bun. Yeah, yeah that's like what I thought bun, by really. the look of it. Yeah, 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 this looks really good to this one. <laughs> You're like the guinea pig today, I'm letting you try everything and then I'm going after. <laughs> they are wicked. It's really juicy. Again, the buffalo, mo buffalo, mi buffalo meat, sorry, it's great. Buffalo meat seems to be like a really popular common dish here, a really like common meat. Onion as yeah, well. It nearly tastes like a meatball, like yeah, yeah. it's all mixed together with exactly. the onion and... Oh, they're wicked. Like yeah. There hasn't been a dish here yet that we haven't enjoyed. <laughs> These are just so, so nice. Mm. And is there any better way to try local food than with locals? Mm. I don't think so. What an experience. So we've just finished up lunch there and we are all so, so full. The food was so good. <sighs> that was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> what an experience. This has just been the best day out. These guys are so, so nice. They are learning so much about the food, about the culture, and about where we're at as well. And we're loving it. <laughs> we're just having the best time. Look at that foreigner filming me. Yo. Oh my girl. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Omala. Omala? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Small bite. Small bite. Is it bitter? It's bitter. Oh, it is bitter, yeah. Like a green apple. Oh, yeah, that is bitter. Oh, you whole thing. The whole thing? After you eating it, uh, you'll, fit, uh, you'll find that a little bit uh, Sweet. Sweet, yes. After, afterwards. It's like the first bite, it's like, um, like bitter, Beer. and then when you yeah. hold it in your mouth, it's just like apple. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 And what is the name? Amala. 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 I like the sound of that. Yeah. <laughs> Amala. Okay. You will get the sweet. Go on, put it in your cheek. Yeah. You will get Look at it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not too good, mate. <laughs> it's not a good look. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. So right now we're about to go and uh, go to a noodle shop, I believe. As if we didn't have enough food already, we have come into another restaurant and we are trying Kimon noodles. They look so, so good. We're just mixing them up here and I cannot wait to get stuck into them. Just getting straight in. It's, oh. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a wee bit full from the last food, but I'm dying to tuck into this. It kind of looks like a spaghetti bolognese that we would get back home. The noodles look very spaghetti, kind of like pasty as well, and it's got some chunks of meat and loads of sauce. Jack just had a wee bit there and he's told it is it's very spicy, so spicy's good, I like spicy. Let's see. Let's see. Messy. That's fantastic. That's really, really good. 
really good. Not as spicy as what I thought, but yeah, that's really good. A big chili kick, yeah, yeah. That is really good. Honestly, the food here in Nepal has just been surprising us more and more every time. It's just getting better and better. <sighs> Love it. <laughs> Coming in with the good recommendations today. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. <laughs> oh wow, that feed was amazing. <laughs> I think so, so we needed good. more food, but it yeah. was so so tasty. We have tried so many Tibetan dishes today, and that was actually a local dish that's really specific to this particular area here in Kathmandu in Nepal. And honestly, it was wicked. It was so, so, so nice. So nice. And yeah. I'm so glad that we were out today with all the local people that yeah. they were able to give us these recommendations. And honestly, we've just had a blast. We've had a blast. Thank you so much to our new friends here from Kathmandu and also to Jack for inviting us out today. It's just been wicked. As you can tell, it's actually raining now since we've come inside. But today was so good in general. We're going to leave this video here. We really hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. We are stuffed. I think we're going to go see another temple now. Do a wee bit of walking to walk off some of that food. And we just, need it. Yeah. <laughs> Just have a wee bit more of an explore, but for now, we'll see you later. See Bye! <laughs>